TFS plays Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke. I am Lanny P. Yeah? Swig. I don't fucking care. You already <laughs> used them? I already used it. I don't you care. You used his evolved form, Lanny Patortera. Yeah, Lanny Patortera. Yeah, Lanny Patortera. There, there we go. you go. I am Kiranitar, as shown by my glorious avatar. <laughs> I am Grant Pardos. <laughs> Good one. I was gonna be Kiranidos. <laughs> All right. We are trying Let's to see. catch something Let's see. here. Oh! 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 Sand true! Oh my god, a sand true! You're my favorite of this generation! Oh my god! Oh my god, Wait. don't kill him! Don't not, kill him! We can't kill him, he's, he's rock! Just don't kill him! I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna kill him. He's ground, first of all. Yeah. But No, I'm saying Dwayne's rocks are not gonna do anything super effective to him. Right, but tackle Dwayne the Rock him. Broxon. <laughs> see, we're fine. All right. Look, yeah, there Good, we go. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. Perfect, perfect. See, However, see. If, we, if we get a critical hit, that ignores all buffs. Does so, it? Yes. Oh, here we go. Come on. Come on, Dwayne. Wait, did our attack? Oh, he's sand attack he, before. Yeah. Oh, so it works for him and not us. We clearly learned this game only obeys NPC his own rules. NPC privilege. Yeah. We're, we're trapped in here with them. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so just planning ahead. It's a male sand true, so... Sandrew? Yeah. I actually really like that. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Sandrew. This, this. Alright, throw the ball. I think, it, I'm, I'm gonna, I think I'm that's gonna, enough. I'm gonna say give it the ball now, and if it doesn't work... Smack him once more. Yeah. Smack him one more time to make him learn. We only have three poses. You're expensive, man. Yeah, but we don't have many places we can go. Whenever I, whenever I uh, had a sand true in my deck, I'd always name it at, in my deck. Yeah, in your deck. <laughs> yeah, in your deck of my six. De in my deck of poke cards. <laughs> I'd always name it Ace because it's uh, sand slash. The later form was kind of the color scheme of my little rat. Aww, oh, that's cute. Sandrew! All right, Sandrew! Welcome to the team, buddy. Welcome to the team, Sandrew. All right. What a off to a great start. Yeah. Perfect start. Okay. Pretty let's... good. So how's He's like half, um, who? Bastank. <laughs> who Bastank? All right. Who are we leveling? Uh, we're well, first leveling. First, we should run we to are, the Pokemon Center. Yeah, let's go to the Pokemon Center and okay. heal up Sandrew. Okay. And then we'll be leveling up Wanda and. Because, yeah, we need bite. I think we, we just. Need bite. I think we should just yeah. be leveling up Wanda. No, yeah. I agree. Once we get Wanda to 19, we've got a rare candy at least. I don't know if we have two. but... We might have two. I think we have at least one. Yeah. Yeah, so we can get so, a 19 and pop that. And, and then we can level up Gyarados. Now, do we want to go up the bridge first? Not yet, no. because the rival is waiting the, there. The rival's there, but the trainers would give better experience. Yes, but I get feel us. like I kind of want to be stronger before we fight the rival again, because okay, that's we fair. just went through a devastating team wipe. Yeah. I don't want to go through another. I, I don't enough. know if my heart could handle it. I kind of just want... I accept. I'm just going to have Wanda here. Flopping around. Just saying, Wanda will take a while to level up, so. It's Sandrew's brother, Santhony. <laughs> Sandula? <laughs> Santhony? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can give it to Dwayne, because then Dwayne can yeah, get some yeah, levels yeah, now, too. Now everybody's leveling up. Everybody gets a little. So they start doing this crap. Ugh. So, okay, uh, so I, I tweeted this out earlier and I just wanted to say. Thank you all so much for the fan art. Yes. Holy oh, we love it. Crap. Like we've uh, been getting outpourings of it. And yeah, it I, I wonderful. had a couple people. Um, I, I here. Stream. Do you want to throw up a few, like mm -hmm. a bit of the fan art yeah. here, just to I know, show yes. some of the stuff we've seen? I know. Absolutely. Aerosol did the pixel art one. Uh, I can look up usernames for other ones. Soon. Yeah. Um, some guy that has the Radiohead album cover <laughs> as his avatar did the pencil sketches that were. Awesome! Yeah, because great, great pencil work. I, yeah. had to, I had to comment on that. No, it's, it's like, like my face on that Tauros is like super uncanny valley. Do like a it. close up of that shit. <laughs> it's it's like, so Arma, at Arma Schuvitz is the pencil artist. Mm -hmm. uh, Thank you. Try and 
run through here real quick so we can give somebody made reference. somebody made like a quick little fan like a, almost Ethan like Ethan Hensley did a drawing of all of us holding the corpses of our lost friends. Oh with, yeah, that with one. With Alex Stryker and Dwayne yeah. backing us up and Wanda. And uh, let's see, there there was one somebody did like almost really good kind of like it's almost kind of graphic art of what like Lakeiger looks like wearing oh, like the yeah. Team Four Star hat. Oh yeah, that one. Yeah, that was some. Um, uh, Arx Designs, the guy who did the uh, dumpling shirt. Nice. And at Skies Delimit 88 drew uh, me as a Pikachu wearing a Firo for Life shirt, <laughs> and uh, it was it was granted you and Lancey for Lanny Cianci as the legendary oh, yeah. XY boat you want to wear in the WWE belt. I, I, haven't, see, I haven't seen that one. Yeah. Oh, that's great. <laughs> and wearing a Brazzer shirt. <laughs> <laughs> you know me too well. <laughs> I'm not wearing it right now, but I own it. <laughs> it's accurate. But I think that's most of the fan art, at least that I've seen. And I'm trying, I've been trying to keep up with that and retweeting it on the Team Four Star account and saving it on my PC's hard drive to eventually create a use them later. An yeah. al well, not only use them later, but uh, an create album like on a them. mural for the Facebook and stuff. Ooh, that'd be cool. But yeah, but like oh, I, was, I was just gonna make open a Facebook album and it was just gonna be called fan art and start dumping stuff. Yeah, like that. De definitely start doing that. Yeah, that'd be cool. In wait. fact, if it's not up tomorrow, you're fired. All right, fair <laughs> enough. Well, I was waiting to see if I could get more DBZA related stuff, so it wasn't just all gaming stuff, and people assumed well, that yeah, was the only stuff. Go, we go to DB and Dart and look up DBZA. <laughs> <laughs> it's just okay. crediting is D, is all Is DB and Dart still like a popular site for that kind of stuff? Because yes. I like I I don't know if it like fell out or anything, but I had not heard much of it. Most in the past of it, couple well, of years. most of it actually has migrated to Tumblr. Okay, that uh, makes that makes a lot of sense. I don't know yeah. if I want to throw it. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, I was no, seeing Dwayne I, I know. reach I'm, I'm out. Not. This is level ten. It gets this level is level six, six I, bro. I know. I know. Real nervous. Just you're fine. Switch. I know. I fucking no. I just wanted to get both of them in there. I'm, I'm wondering why though, because we really want to level up Wanda. We should be doing like one each, you know? Because you're splitting the XP all sorts of ways. We're splitting this very limited res. Well, not uh, limited so yeah. much, but. I'm just trying to look out for all our children, no, man. I get, we don't I, have a they, favorite they will child. All, they will all have their time in the sun, and yes, we do. We each have our own favorite. We do have our own favorite. Child. I love you, Alex. Right now, mine is Andrew. And don't kill him. <laughs> oh, man. Let's start this. Start this off. Start this right. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you say? What'd you say? New blood, dead blood. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta pay your dues in the pits. Also, some people were trying to correct me when I was saying that the element, uh, element, elemental punches for uh, Hitmonchan Don't are try special. to correct this man, by the way. Yeah. I, you, I know for a fact, you can look it up anywhere you want, the special physical split was not based on Check moves. Check the Grantopedia. Yeah, it was <laughs> not based on moves until Gen 4. All of you guys going, Libians. all you guys going, I just played through Leaf Green. I know for a fact you are wrong or you're playing a ROM hack or something. <laughs> yeah, you're probably wrong and and playing a ROM hack. And playing a wrong hack because oh, yeah, wrong do it hack. right. <laughs> splash. Yeah, we're going to splash. That'll get them. We're going to splash on them. <laughs> but you know what? going to try to not bring up people correcting me on things because I don't care about your nerd cred, but God damn it, I know I'm right on that one. No, man. Imbue your nerd cred, like <laughs> I did with Naruto. I knew everything. Yeah, that's true. Every single else, thing. We're always right. Yeah, and everyone else is wrong and watched the, the wrong show. They, yeah. didn't, they did not Accurate. pay attention in Naruto class. No, they didn't. And that's why they've all failed and are still tuning. So when you guys are on my level, when you're feel a to me. I did see, I don't know if it was like a movie or a special or filler or something, but there was like a little thing where Naruto did attempt to do the tuning exam and then gets disqualified because he goes sage mode because they're like, sage mode isn't allowed to level the playing. Bullshit! That's the one. Like, like I have no idea. One, that's... that's bullshit. Two, that's filler. Okay. I didn't know it have to be filler. You're not, you're not allowed to use special ninja moves to win this ninja contest. Yeah, they made a rule specifically for him, which I feel like should just automatically graduate you to the next level. If yeah. they're like, we need you to not try. <laughs> Yeah, no, man, you're holding everyone else back. You're too good. It's almost like you should be ranked up, but we we have to go. It's, yeah, it's a formality. It's, you know, everybody does it. It's a we fight. know you won all of your fights in the original one, but fuck you anyway. Yeah, it's a fight between him and Konohamaru, and Konohamaru can't, like, literally can't touch him. Like and Konohamaru his, didn't do shit in yeah, the manga, so that's definitely telling. Is doing his best to hit him. Yeah. And then, like, 
Naruto like backing up, being like, "Oh no, he might actually try to hit me or something." Like that trip. actually sounds like some kind of fun filler. I'm no, not yeah, yeah, it, it was it was a fun fight. Like when I saw like the thumbnail on suggested for you, because after our romp through Naruto, I naturally started watching a looking, bunch of looking Naruto at a bunch fights. Of Naruto yeah. Stuff. yeah. Uh, and I was like, oh man, like tune in exam, Naruto versus Konohamaru. I'm like, so I guess he did like attempt it again. And it seemed like really different animation. And like, there was like voice acted like, Naruto at the tuning exam. First round, Konohamaru, question mark. And I was just, I was just like, all right, so this is like a special or something. Um, this is like fan made. Yeah. Some, some after school special. Yeah. Now that, that's some of the worst part. Like, with some of those really long-running shows, especially the ones dubbed over in California, you get some pretty questionable acting when it comes to the filler yeah. arcs. Yeah, because it's like... Well, nobody, the, nobody the, filler, the filler arcs is, and it makes sense, it's where they test a lot of their new blood. Yeah. Like, a lot of their new actors. Because, okay, this is a one-and-done character. Get in there and show me what yeah, you can just, do. Just, oh, I remember hearing about uh, what, what, it was the one filler arc in Bleach, the big one, the... Oh, uh, the vampire bount? people. The bount, yeah, the bount arc. I, I remember hearing back when that came out that the dub for the main villain of that was like, a, like his launch point for a bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. If I'm correct, probably. Like apparently, like he got he got that part because everyone was like, "Fuck this, it's the bount arc," and then he went on to do a bunch of other things. But I could be making that up. So I don't know shit about voice actors. <laughs> You're not the lore actor. I, 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 I believe you. Yeah, like I, I feel like because that's the that. kind of stuff that makes sense in the industry. You don't you don't cast your seasoned pros in those random shit unless they're only going to be around for a week. Although they did um uh in the interesting move of the guy who plays main character of Attack on Titan. I don't even know his name. Uh, wasn't he just completely new? Which one? The guy who plays the main character in Attack on Titan. Bryce Pappenbrook? Yes, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's been guy, around. I don't know how long he's been around. I, I remember, remember hearing he was like a greenhorn and people were like, I what? Don't, I don't think so. Huh. Okay. I, but I, I, I could be wrong because I don't know that man. Like, I, <laughs> I'm in, I quote unquote, in the industry, but I'm not, like, I don't pay attention to the politics of voice acting. What? You I really don't? don't. No. But You're... they directly affect you. <laughs> Look, man, all I care about is building my wall. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> I hear you, dog. <laughs> it really doesn't affect you, though. Okay. Yeah. I know, I know. about I voice get, actors. I get, I get the roles I get. I don't get the roles I don't. That's how it works. I know me. about voice actors to the extent of I go, that sounds like Vegeta. It was! <laughs> yeah, that's, no, that's, that's kind of how it started. It's like... The first, the first person I was able to recognize everywhere was Steve Bloom because he has that very recognizable voice. Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. It's like, oh man, hey, that guy sounds like Spike Spiegel. Yeah. That guy sounds like Tom. Yeah. <laughs> that's... For me, it was when I heard Buster Bunny and I was like, that's just the Crypt Keeper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Billy West was another one that I was able to recognize pretty frequently. I remember uh, for a long time, like, I think it was my brother or something, just being like, I heard a rumor. He's like, the voice actors for Rin and Stimpy don't like each other. But then okay. it's just they're both Billy West. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Little do you know, Billy West just hates himself. <laughs> like, years later, I find this out, I go, my brother was a liar. <laughs> he heard wrong information and relayed it to me. That, that liar. <laughs> yeah, I, I... Speaking of wrong information yeah. and relaying it to people, Continue. things I never do. Of yeah, course, so, absolutely. So I get all like I'm getting a lot of messages about like you know people saying like Madara equals Napa and Cubone and Kangaskhan like definitive proof it was found in an interview. All of these accurate things. Give me a source. <laughs> like I feel like this is something that was lost on a certain in some space. Yeah. Like, citing your sources? Cite your sources. Be like, I heard from a friend that the author actually said this. Do research. Like, go I do that look to, it I up. I do that on Facebook all the time. It comes across as a little smarmy, but no, whenever, yeah. whenever I post something... But it's also just wanting accuracy. Well, well, whenever I post something, and I've been posting like a lot of political stuff lately, because I'm very heavy, like, I'm very into this political process for the first what? time in forever. I can't believe that. Yeah. And I, I post a lot of stuff, and people are like arguing with me. Well, socialism, blah blah blah. It's just one pen stroke away from becoming <laughs> communist Russia. And I'm like, we have a system of checks and balances for a reason. Cite your sources, or as, go back to ninth grade <laughs> civics. <laughs> yeah. As, as someone who loves to pull the it's a slippery slope argument, <laughs> I love how badly people use it. 
For a second, Hang I thought on. you were going to the gym, and I was like, what are you yeah, doing? No. Is, is that that's, her? That's her. <laughs> yeah, no, okay. she's right there. I uh, can feel her aura. I know, like, I, her, her fucking Rayatsu is out the roof. Like, the whole screen Don't, Do not go up here! No! Rival! We're, Listen. The rival fight triggers, at least get, like... At least get Firo up a little bit higher. Because I feel okay, like our two's I feel like I was gonna say if you're if you're going to fight him, at least put someone else in front, because I don't want us switching into that Pidgeotto. We should fight if him. It's... I'm putting that forward. We should fight him. You because... think right now? I'd say like, I, I want to get I would get what? get Alex because Alex is really close to leveling up. Level up Alex. You okay, Alex one more level yeah. than you comfortable? Uh, as comfortable as I'm willing to be, yes. <laughs> Just feel like you know you guys. Are taking to the wrist. Like I, I'm, I'm gonna be about. Oh, we could have gotten the I, I'm gonna be about as comfortable as if I was using like a butt plug one size too large. You know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Just one size too large. <laughs> a common problem. Yes. No. People don't know the size of their proper butt plug, and it's not exactly something you can really test without using the product. Fair enough. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta get one of those like trainer kits that have like you know slowly, or you get the ones with like the the gradual. They're like the gauges for people who exactly, like, exactly. Just slowly. You don't start out. with the hula hoop. Yeah, exactly. No, you work your way up. You slowly, you slowly work the butt up until you're shitting out Christmas logs. <laughs> you're fine. God, have you ever seen people who use exactly. the? Have you ever seen people with the gauges on their lip? Like their lower lip? Yes! No. That one confuses me. It's like, how like, do you fucking eat? That's I'm a rife with bacteria. I'm like, a I'm vanilla human being who is rather, like, indifferent and, like, you know, kind of like, why would you get a piercing and tattoo and stuff? That just seems like something that would hurt. Yeah, not not to, and, not, like, to dissuade, not, not, not to dissuade anybody no, out there who does. Yeah, like, to by all their means, own. Yeah, if it's your thing, but, like, that's already a thing that I'm kind of like, eh, not for me. But then when I see that, I'm like, you are crazy. Like, and by all means, go for it. Do you. But, man, yeah, know I mean, that I am like, holy crap. Like, the gauge on the lip where you can see the bottom teeth is the one that, that confuses me so... the most. I've seen that a couple of times, once in public. And I did not get a chance to ask the individual how they handle soup. <laughs> I think, I think, I think after you get There's that, be you a can, plug of some sort. Some, probably, but I think after you get that, you kind of just say, "Nah, I'm done eating soup forever." <laughs> maybe you, maybe you eat it through a straw, and you just lose the straw through. But how do you suck? You have the hole. Well, that's see, well, lucky. Unfortunately for you, you un you uncultured swine, you, Thank you know that they make straws specifically for those with lower lip gauges that are fit to your gauge. Then like kind of like you know like a stopper, go right there. You kind of lock it <laughs> it's in. Like an okay. airlock. Yeah, it's like a, it, exactly. It locks it in, and then you can just close your mouth, and then you can just suck like that. See, perfect. I just look at. I, I think about that kind of stuff. Like right now, I'm just thinking about what happens when they want to have a drink in the morning. It's Does like, it just like slosh onto the front of their shirt sometimes? Like or, they have to, or do they have to like tip their head back like a duck? So, a thought real quick, pulling this back to Pokemon. Sorry, okay. sorry to get off no, our, no, no problem, no problem. I mean, it's a game we're playing. Yeah. We got the TM for Rock Tomb, right? Yeah. We haven't taught that to anyone? No. We can teach it to Sandrew. I was gonna say, we can either teach it to Sandrew or Dwayne, and then Pidgeotto would be significantly less scary. That's we true, have, we but we'd have, also but need to also level, level them up. Level we would need to level them up. them up a little bit, but like Pidgeotto, I feel like is the big threat he has. I'm, got, I'm safe <laughs> saying that we should level them up and next time fight the train, uh, fight our rival. Okay. Because if memory serves, all the rival has, I think, is Pidgeotto and Abra, who only knows teleport. I'm yes. Pre I'm pretty yes. sure they. I'm pretty Squirtle. sure they still have Squirtle. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah they haven't right. leveled they, they have like, the I, Squirtle. I, I, that's enough. I level. think it's those three, and if they have four, it's a rat attack. I think they do have the, the one rat that we attack. eventually kill. Yeah. I think they do actually. Yeah, have you're the rat right. Because we're only gonna run into to him one more time with the rat attack. It's eradicate on the ship. Yeah. So. Yeah. So he's got those four. I feel like of those four, Pidgeotto and Squirtle are the scariest. Are the scariest two. Um. I honestly think that Alex could handle uh, Squirtle. Probably. I, and yeah. I, I feel like Pidgeotto, like Striker, might be able to beat him, but I would feel way more comfortable if, like, we had like a level. We had a move that just like, fucked a, like, up flying. Yeah, time. like a yeah. level ten or eleven Dwayne, just go in and just be like stab Rock Tomb. Because he won't. Because he's not gonna have anything that'll kill him off yeah, the bat. Cause, yeah, because he won't. Because he won't have anything that will really hurt. Dwayne that much. He yeah. will, no wait, doesn't isn't flying effective against ground? No. No. It's, I don't think it's so. neutral and rock is uh 
rock is effective Res against it resists it. Resists it, so, okay. Alright, so yeah, we're, so we're, 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 we're anyone, it's Dwayne. Yeah. Okay. And Makes our, sense, you our, know, rock type. Our, that. Our TM's reusable at this point? No. I don't think so. Okay. Right, I just wanted to double check. Yeah, I don't think they became reusable until Gen 5. Maybe. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. Because I... Because uh, I remember grinding for TM's in the, I want to say the next generation. So I'm just going to postulate that he's only going to turn into a grappler who does not scale very well. That's fair. Other thought, I th think Striker can learn Rock 2? If he can learn Rock 2? Man, that's over. Like, that's great. And so so if we want to do that Yeah, let's test that. Oh, yeah, let's I'm test that real, real, real quick. Uh, it's TM case. Oh, TM case. Okay. No! No, the dome fossil, yes. So many Why does it just have its own damn pocket? Yeah, what? times one, so yes, it's definitely a one use. Yeah, yeah okay. Alright. Alright, let's see. It's not it's, as let's... dark as well. Yeah, but it's weak as shit. Sand's not dark. Rock Tomb is not that much stronger. But... Uh, not able. Uh, yeah, just Dwayne and Sandrew. Right. Well, I, while I agree that Sandrew will last on our team longer, uh... I think Rock Tomb is not a super great move. Yeah, I don't it's, think it's great It's in pretty weak, so if we're going to eventually replace Dwayne, who maxes out a Graveler for us, because uh, we are, we're playing on the Game Boy Advance cartridge on a Retron. To my knowledge, we don't have a way to trade from that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so that's not bad. So Yeah, give, giving it to Dwayne's probably good. You think so? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's give it to Dwayne. All right, well, Dwayne's learned a new skill. We got Sandrew, and we will see you guys blah, 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 next time on TFS Plays Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke. And with our newfound friend Sandrew, we continue onwards throughout the Kanto region. If you guys are liking what you're seeing, leave a like for us, let us know. And if you guys want to stay tuned for the next installment, hit subscribe up in the top left. If you guys missed our latest stream last night, we had our Fallout 4 Automatron Adventures with the Captain. If you guys missed it, check it out over here on the left. And on the right, we had Krillin playing Layers of Fear. He just finished it up yesterday, so if you guys haven't seen it yet, go ahead and catch yourselves up. It's about seven episodes long. Get through the whole thing relatively quick. And also as an aside, I'm going to go ahead and do a poll here, and I'm curious if you guys want me to denote if episodes are grinding or not. Like, just say in the thumbnail, I'll just have, like, training arc or something. Like, misty training arc if we don't have anything, like, monumental or something where it's more podcasty, so you can have it on in the background, you know what I mean? Uh, leave it up to you guys. Um, we're still debating on what to do with it. But anyways, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Take care.